Hey, once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode of In Pursuit of the Gun Show. This is part four, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at exercises that challenge the biceps and triceps in their fully lengthened position. So we really want to hit the muscles from a full range of motion, but you can't really do that with one exercise. We have to find exercises that challenge the biceps and triceps both in the fully lengthened and the fully flexed or shortened positions. With the inclined bicep curl, make sure that you're keeping your shoulders extended during the whole exercise. So try not to bring your elbows forward as you curl the dumbbells up. Again, make sure you control the eccentric, go nice and slow on the negative of each repetition and flex the triceps at the bottom so that you're making sure you get a full range of motion. So I like to come all the way down, squeeze the triceps so you get that end range of motion. Once you reach fatigue, Quickly reduce the weight about 30 to 40 percent and perform again as many repetitions as you can to fatigue. This is on your last set only. You want to end your last set with a drop set to failure. Now even though at this point you'll be using a relatively light weight, because of the strict form, full range of motion and the position of this exercise, you're going to feel one hell of a burn. Like I'm in a lot of pain here. Actually this exercise really surprised me. The next exercise is an overhead tricep extension. You could use a bar like I'm doing here. This could also be performed with a dumbbell um, or a cable behind your, your back here. The main thing is that you're getting the fully lengthened position of the triceps now. So my arms are in their fully extended overhead position. Um, so the tricep, tricep is being lengthened at the shoulder and at the elbow. Again, control the negative, go really slow on the, on the eccentric phase and contract forcefully, contract hard on the, on the concentric, on the push. Ideally, you'd like to keep your elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. Try not to have them fall away from each other too much. And you can play around with your wrist position based on whether you're using a dumbbell, a bar, or a cable uh, to get the most comfortable position for your elbows because you do want to get a, a full stretch in this exercise. Again, on your last set, when you hit fatigue, quickly drop set the weight and perform as many repetitions as you can with that uh, lighter weight. This is where you really want to push yourself without sacrificing form. So keep that in mind for all of these exercises. Try to keep your range of motion and your form and your, your tempo strict throughout. You, you may have to use a little lighter weight, but you don't want to compromise your, your technique on these exercises. You're really going to put a lot more tension on the target muscle group if you keep it strict. And the weight will come. You're going to get stronger once you execute this technique properly. As you can see, I put a link on the screen here for you to check out the full program. And I'll include a link in the description section below. And stay tuned for next time where we take a look at exercises that challenge the biceps and triceps in the fully shortened positions. And until then, train hard, <laughs>